Today's tip is all around naming cells and naming ranges. This is such an important part of Excel that we feature these activities in our basic, intermediate and advanced courses. Let's first have a look at the data entry sheet. Here we have Pearl, Hilary, Bill and Ted in column A. The departments will be shown in column B. I will try and find out via a VLOOKUP formula using a named range who their manager is. We think of some salaries, the current salary in column D and the new salary potentially being in column E. The pay increase for that salary is in cell G1 which will become our named cell. So first of all let's have a look at our VLOOKUP table. The VLOOKUP table is a traditional table with two columns. You can of course have more than two columns. The department is in column A and the manager of that department is in B. We'll also use column A for a piece of data validation so that the department can only be one of various departments. So let's see how all this hangs together when we have a look. Let's first of all name the VLOOKUP table. Select cells A2 to B6. The name box, as you can see by me hovering over the little white box above column A, top left of your worksheet, single left click. Let's call it V lookup table. Doesn't have to be the same as a worksheet, but certainly has no spaces and press enter. We're then going to go back to our data entry sheet. Now normally we type in sales and then do a VLOOKUP formula into the manager section there. But instead we want to have in column B a piece of data list validation of only valid departments. So once again let's have a look at how this works. Select the range of cells to have data validation imposed. Click on data and then we're looking for the data validation button. It's quite small, you can see here there's various buttons and we're looking for the one which has data validation in. There's quite a few here to choose from and eventually we'll find the one which says data validation. It might be on your PC a bit bigger. Either way it's called data validation. And we're going to choose the settings tab which has allowing for list validation with the source of data. Again pop back onto the VLOOKUP sheet and we're going to select a valid source of up to five departments. So you can choose any one of five. The input message is quite simple. Select department, perhaps a bit more meaningful. Select department from drop down list and then let's have an error incorrect department selected try again from list so once again it's a list validation from a range of cells you can see here out of interest that a2 to a6 is an absolute range determined by the dollar sign so we can see there there's the little drop down message there which says select department from drop down list so let's just do so let's go for sales Production, warehouse, logistics. In cell C2, we'll now have our VLOOKUP formula. Equal V, lookup. Again, there's a video on our hints and tips website all about the VLOOKUP. We're going to pick up the value. We're then going to go to the VLOOKUP table. We can either select the cells or indeed just type in VLOOKUP table. We're looking at column two and we want an exact match. So the argument is false. And Stephen Toms is indeed the manager of the sales department. So once again, VLOOKUP table is a named range. You can see there from the drop down, that's what it's called. Or indeed, if you go to formulas, name manager you can see once again the vlookup entry and there at the bottom 
the reference A2 to B6. It can also be edited from this name manager activity. Let's go back to the data entry sheet. I'm going to name this time just one cell, G1. Let's call this increase, which means we can now calculate our new salary by using a relative cell, D2, and an absolute cell, a name cell, G1. Equal the existing salary plus increase multiplied by the existing salary and there's where there's our increased new salary so once again naming cells g1 and naming ranges of cells quite often used for a table of some sort for example in a vlookup formula by selecting the range of data and typing in the name of the range and these can all be used within any sheet within the one workbook. Again, formulas, name manager, and you can now see increases indeed on the data entry sheet G1. The VLOOKUP table is on the VLOOKUP table sheet, and it's a range of cells.